Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you can get the most for your Jeep. In this week's episode, I'm going to announce the winner of the 23 quart Bouge RV fridge from our 10,000 subscriber giveaway video, plus the nine other prizes. But in this video, I'm also going to be doing a unboxing review of the Bouge RV 37 quart fridge. And if you find you might be interested in getting a Bouge RV fridge for yourself, stick around because in the tip segment I have some exclusive Cheaper Jeeper TV discount codes. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. You'll remember I did a review of the Bouge RV 23 quart fridge. I've been using it on all of our camping trips. We really do enjoy it. We find it stores enough. It doesn't take up too much space in the back of the Jeep. And so when we had 10,000 subscriber celebration video, it seemed like a great first prize to give out. And we had a lot of people enter that. And here's a list of the winners here on the screen. So you could pause it and you could check it out and see if your name is up there. Congratulations to all those winners. In particular, first prize, because they got the 23 quart Blue Jar V fridge, but also second and third prizes where they got the mugs and the other prizes where they got a cheaper Jeeper TV sticker. But now let's move on with this video where we are going to be doing an unboxing review of the Blue Jar V 37 quart fridge. Now the Bouge RV 37 quart fridge is obviously a little bigger than the 23 quart fridge but let's have a close look at it. We'll see all the attributes of the fridge itself and then we'll discuss some of the possible use case scenarios for a fridge that's this size. And then you'll be able to compare what we know about the 23 quart fridge to the 37 quart fridge and maybe you could let me know which of those two models might be suitable for you. The fridge is packed inside two cardboard boxes with styrofoam in between, so there's little chance of your unit getting damaged during shipping. So once you take it out of the box, you can see that it, the unit looks pretty impressive so far. It has a hatch up here that opens this way, but I understand that it's actually reversible in that you could remove it and put it on the other side. So the hatch is reversible, so depending on your needs, if you needed it to open from this side, you could do that, or simply just switch it around, put one end in first and slip this end in, and it closes this way, and has a nice latch that keeps it shut, like that. So, so far it's pretty impressive. I also noticed that this model comes with this extension handle and wheels, where there's these little triggers here where you can open it up and you can simply cart your fridge away with you to the jeep or to the trailer wherever you're taking it maybe on a picnic so that's not bad because i found even with the 23 quart fridge once you start loading up some cans of pop or whatever it can get a little bit heavy so if you wanted to you can get the model that has the wheels and handle for the same price rather than the 37 quart which doesn't have the wheels and the handle so it all depends on your needs so that's pretty impressive. There's a protective coating here on the display, which comes off and now you have a nice display right here and I'll show you some footage of that, as well as a USB charging port, which is always nice to have. And when you first open up the fridge, you can see you get some power cords. Let's have a look at that. So you get your user manual in the box that's inside but also in a Ziploc bag, you've got your two sets of charging cables. This is the one that goes into a 12 volt source. You can see it's a more updated version of the cigarette plug than the 23 quart. So we'll have a look and see if this fits a little more snug than the 23 quart version did. And this is the part that goes in the fridge. And then these two cables is where you plug into AC power in the house or in your trailer or whatever. So it's a big charging brick that stays outside the fridge when you want to charge it. Now inside the fridge, which I really like, are these wire baskets in the two compartments. Now you'll notice that in contrast to the 23 quart fridge, this fridge has two compartments in it. 
and they could be run both at refrigeration settings, they could be run both at freezer settings, or you could have one compartment to operate as a refrigerator and the other compartment to operate as a freezer. And really what I do like about these baskets is that you can pull it out to get access to things that you need. You could shut the lid so that you keep the cold temperature in there while you're rummaging for what you need in any of the two baskets. And when you're ready, you can just take the basket and sit it right in there. That is really nice. I kind of wish the 23 quart had that as well. And this fridge has it, so that's great. Also, at the bottom of the larger compartment is a drain plug. So should you need to wash it out and you want to let the fluid just drain out of the plug, you could do that. Also, the fridge comes with a interesting cutting board here. So that's kind of handy and it sits right on top. There's a little depression area on top just to keep it in place. So if you wanted to slice up some lemons for your Coronas or whatever, or whatever drinks you have, so that's kind of a nice feature that they've included. Now I'm going to get into the workings of this fridge shortly, but I just want to point out to you that not only can you use the monitor panel on the side to get all your settings all set up to use this fridge, but there's also a Bluetooth app that you can use on your cell phone for which to monitor the condition of the compartments of the fridge or to adjust your settings. So that is pretty neat because you can have it in the back of your rig, the back of your trailer, and through your cell phone, you'll be able to set your temperatures and adjust things the way you see fit. So that's pretty neat. So a lot of you have seen how the 23 quart fridge fits into the back of a Jeep. Or if you have a Gladiator, you can imagine how it could fit either in the back seat of the Gladiator or somewhere in the truck bed or whatever type of vehicle you have. Now in contrast to this, let's have a look and see what the 37 quart fridge looks like. So here's what the 37 quart fridge looks like. And right now, if I were to have the fridge oriented this way, the lid wouldn't be opening in a way that's convenient for me. So I can easily flip that like I showed you earlier. Or if I wanted to organize the fridge in here this way, well, the lid is opening to my liking in this capacity. Now, that is a lot of extra capacity for the amount of space that it's taking up. In contrast to the 23 quart fridge that I had here, I don't think it looks like it's taking up that much more room. So you could be the judge to see how it suits you, but that's not bad. Now the fact that there's wheels on there means that I could wheel it forward a little bit if I needed to and then just shove it back. I don't have to take it all the way out because keep in mind with a bigger fridge and more food in there it's going to be a little heavier. But if you just needed to slide it out a bit just to get access to here you don't need to buy a slider or some of those really expensive tracks that the, some of those other fridges have because if you spend all your money on that you don't have as much left over for other things for your Jeep. So with this inexpensive cooler compared to some of the name brands and with the wheels, you don't have to get the track and it seems pretty convenient. It just slides really nicely. It stays put, but if you just sort of lift it a little bit, it will slide at least to get to what you need. And when you're done, just slide it right back in like that. And if I try to close the tailgate, there's lots of room, still closes. It seems like this is the perfect size in the back of the Jeep because it's like taking up the maximum amount of space here on this side. That's even with the tailgate that juts out here, there's ample room in this area here. And like I said, it is gonna be heavy, so it isn't something you wanna lug around a lot either. You can have this refrigerator plugged into any of the 12 volt sources in your rig but there's also this really cool feature here. And I'm not referring to the bottle cap opener here. And that is this compartment right here. There's actually space for a optional lithium battery that is on board for the refrigerator. 
So if you don't have your own rechargeable battery and you mostly use it just when you go get groceries or something, you wouldn't need a battery. But if your scenario is such that you just want to use it when you go to the lake and you're having a picnic somewhere, if you just buy the optional lithium battery that fits in this place, it'll be good for a few hours to keep your food cold while it's not plugged into a 12 volt source like the inside of your rig. And it just fits in this space right here. There you go. And then there's the plug for your 12 volt source and then even a plug here for solar. Now I think most people, if they've got solar panels, they probably have a rechargeable lithium battery that the solar panels will be plugged into. So then from your 12 volt source on your solar battery, you possibly have it plugged right into here. And I also noticed that right next to the plug, there's a little hatch here for a 15 amp fuse. So it's good to know that it's right there. If there's something wrong, you could check that right there. That's pretty cool. Now, just having looked at this for the first time, just like you, I am pretty impressed with the quality of the build in that it's not your high end type of fridge at this size that might cost you up to a thousand dollars. I mean, for the price of this, it's like half the price and it still seems like it's put together really well. And the one thing that caught my attention that makes me a little bit concerned is this handle because it does seem a little bit flexible as opposed to a, a hard plastic, but maybe there's a, a pro or a con about that. Maybe the hard plastics break or are more brittle. It seems to me that this might be a little flimsy, but I guess time will tell. Uh, what I like about the 23 quart fridge, for example, is that they have recessed grab handles so you're never worried or concerned about will the existing handle last to a lot of heavy use because when you carry this with this handle there's going to be a lot of weight that it's going to be supporting so i'd be very careful with that the wheels seem okay in that they don't really jut out a lot to get in the way of when you're packing for example, in the Jeep, the seat back sort of slants a little bit, so the wheel jutting out here doesn't really get in the way. You see, that's right up against the back of the seat, no problem. And in terms of sideways, that, I don't know how much closer or tighter you want to get it. So those wheels don't seem to be a bother or an encumbrance in any way. So that's not bad. It has some extra padding in the corners to withstand some abuse, so they did take care in the design to uh, make it last a little bit. But let's take a look at how the controls work and how the app works. The conveniently located label just beneath the display describes what all the operation and temperature control symbols do. Pressing the power button turns on the fridge. This symbol on the left represents the large compartment of the fridge. And similarly, this symbol on the right represents the small compartment of the fridge. Adjust the temperature of the large compartment by touching the plus or minus symbol. When wishing to change the temperature of the small compartment, simply press the minus symbol and then the settings icon, and then just press the plus and minus buttons to adjust the temperature in the small compartment. And finally, to toggle between Fahrenheit or Celsius degrees, all you do is hold your finger on the settings icon for three seconds and then hit it again until you get to E5 and then from there hit the minus symbol and switch over to Celsius. To be able to control these settings on your phone, simply use the photo app on your phone to scan the code in the manual. When you see the icon for your fridge, tap on it so it can connect via Bluetooth. And that's it. It's pretty intuitive actually. You just click on the icons on the screen to control either compartments and change your settings and can all be done on your cell phone. You can even go into the settings menu and name the fridge. Well, I think we have a pretty good idea how everything works. Now it's time to start using this thing. 
So as far as first initial impressions are concerned, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. I mean, for the price, this is totally affordable. And instead of spending twice the amount on a maybe a name brand fridge, you get same amount of storage. You get the Bluetooth connectivity aspect with the app and it's a reasonable build quality and with the extra money you have left over you could buy other things for your Jeep. But if you were the kind of guy that you're out on the road, off road, off grid all the time, maybe you're going to want something that is guaranteed to hold up to the rugged abuse. But if you're like me and you go out camping or overlanding a few times over the summer, maybe even a couple times in the winter, something like this might be able to hold up. However, make sure that you check in on some subsequent videos where I'll be testing this and comparing the energy use of this to the smaller one and kind of weighing and balancing what's best for my needs, but not only in using it for the Jeep, but also in using it for the travel trailer as well, because a lot of those travel trailer specific refrigerators that are three-way fridges, they are very, very expensive in contrast to this, where these have been proven to be fairly reliable. They are very efficient, low energy consumption devices. And so this is sort of an option that a lot of people are starting to consider as a refrigerator to use in their travel trailers. So make sure you come back for some videos where I'll be demonstrating that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss that in other videos when they come out. But if this has whet your appetite and you're considering getting a Bouge RV 12 volt fridge for yourself, stick around for a tip segment because I'm going to share with you some discount codes I have for some Bouge RV 12 volt fridges. Now for some cheaper, cheaper tips. In this week's tip, I direct you to the description section of this video because I'm going to share with you some discount codes I have for some Bouge RV 12 volt fridges. So make sure you check out the description section of this video. Now let's hear what our subscribers have to say. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from our gift ideas, Father's Day, any day video. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, absolutely have good jumper cables in your Jeep. Signed, Dad Father. Absolutely, and similar to that type of gift, I have a Gulu 2000, which is a battery booster pack. This way, if somebody needs a boost, you can help them out with the booster pack without risking the electronics in your Jeep. Plus, it can also serve as an extra battery pack to charge some electronics when you're in a pinch. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. And if you are interested in getting yourself a Bouge RV 12 volt refrigerator, make sure you check the description section because there will be discount codes for you there. And if you want to see in subsequent videos how these fridges perform, make sure you're subscribed or you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when they come out. So until then, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.